thanks for being here. Thank you for coming to see us. I'm so happy now. Michelle, last time you were here on the show, we played Spill Your Guts, and you had to eat a cow's tongue, you had to drink a salmon seaweed smoothie, and I gotta say, it didn't phase you at all. You were brilliant. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened to me because I, I, I actually went through with it, especially that salmon smoothie, and I, I, I actually thought I was going to puke, and but I didn't. I, I managed. Well, we were on with Charlie Puth, and he was sort of doing he the was... puking for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he really was. He yeah. was struggling, but you were. Maybe it was. The, I was, felt like I was on stage or something. I, was I just think thought, there is a bit yeah, of that to it. Bit of that. Yeah. yeah. When are you going to play Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts, Max Greenfield? Well, let's go right now. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a real there. You, there's, I feel like there's a new, there's a new sense of of of, of being in Max Greenfield. Do you, is this anything to do with turning forty? You just turned forty, turned even 40. though you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Look at this baby face. It's a real accomplishment. I appreciate it. Um... Well, it is with that baby face. You look about it's all, twenty-three. It's all makeup. <laughs> it's not all makeup. It's all makeup. You know, this is everybody sees like the people on TV with all the makeup on. Come to my house at 5.30 in the morning. I look 76. <laughs> really? Yes. I have a kid that's kicking me in the face. This looks like... It's not great. Really? No. It's all makeup. It's all, it's all makeup. But per... This is all prosthetics. It's all makeup and, and just a tiny I lift. pay a lot of money. The tiniest lift. Just a tiny... <laughs> just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michelle, I, I want to yes. talk to you about this. Michelle Dockery, you have, apparently, is this true? Tell me if this is true. You have an alter ego who comes out on nights out. Yeah. Who yeah. is she? Uh, so, and what is she like? So she's, And can we meet her one day? She's the, she's the person at a party who can't resist being the one to become the DJ. So... Right. My nickname is DJ Dockers. DJ Dockers! <laughs> I mean, it's not... I don't spin decks, but, no. um, you know, like most people do, I just get on an iPhone. But I sure. do have a playlist on my Spotify. What's on your playlist? Um, Faith Evans, Love Like This. OK. Right. Um, uh, Juicy, Notorious B.I.G. Nice. No Diggity. Nice. And then for a real floor filler, I'll, I'll do something like a cheesy one, like Return of the Mac, Everybody Loves It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's, uh, what's on Max Greenfield's party playlist? Oh, what's your number one tune? I'm real into Huey Lewis right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my man. And the news. Yes. Uh, really anything by them. To Power, fill it... Power of Love, uh, Harder Rock and Roll Than Me, This Is It, any, I mean... And go... suddenly we do believe that you're 40. <laughs> <laughs> I had a... <laughs> The real, the real moment for me, I was driving on, on, on some freeway. I just dropped off my kids and I was going to work and I was like, life is good. And Dire Straits came on and I went, is this me now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. That is the thing. How are the kids? Are they good? You have two children, Lily and Ozzy. They're back at school. Are they enjoying it? Yeah, everything's going well. Um, Lily is now in fourth grade. Yeah. We're hoping fourth grade goes a little bit better for me than third grade did. Why? Um, we ended last year on, on, on sort of a low note. Um, she did a biography pod project, which she was wonderful in, uh, where she had to pick, like, a famous person from history. She picked Frida Kahlo, and the children dress up as yes. who they've chosen, and they give a report, and they have to be in character and, and speak to the class. And a part of that project was making, like, a, like a, a board, you know, that had pictures of, uh -huh. of Frida Kahlo and such. And I thought, this is a pretty tall order for a third grader. Uh, why don't I do the board for you? And I did a miraculous job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then I, and then I realized when, I shouldn't say I realized, my wife Tess, uh, who's much smarter than I am, realized while we were watching our daughter give this beautiful speech. Uh, in the classroom. In the classroom that I had spelled uh, Kahlo wrong on the board. <laughs> We have a photo of it sure here. You do. Here's your daughter, Lily, and look at that. There's the there's the board you made. Yeah, the and H you've called her Frida Kalho. <laughs> Frida Kalho. Justin Long says that's the uh, the Hawaiian painter. Right. Um, <laughs> so what did you? So so uh, my wife got, got very upset when she realized this. I thought she was lying to me, and I asked for proof, which she then sent 75 examples of how it was spelled correctly. Yeah. 
um, and not one where it was spelled like that. So she made me go back into school because the next day was like, you know, where all the parents come. It was like an open house. Oh. And they were, these were going to be on display. And I don't think anybody would have noticed, but had they, it would have been on me because there's no way she made that board. For sure. <laughs> so I went into the, to the art room and I, and, you know, it was filled with kids and I asked for the, to the supplies to fix it. And I had, and it was just, it felt like too much energy to lie. So I just told them all that I'd spelled it wrong and that, that adults make mistakes and to just please shut the <laughs> like. <laughs> I gotta do this quick and I gotta fix this. And he fix it, he did. Look, Look at, that. at that for a fix. <laughs> Thank you. Smart work, man. Smart work. Now, Michelle, we have to congratulate you on Downton Abbey, the movie. <laughs> it's gonna be huge. I think it's gonna be huge. For all the fans out there, what's what's the movie about? Um, so it, we pick up about 18 months on from when the show, where we left off on the show, and uh, everything is, you know, very calm and settled. And then a letter arrives from the royal household to say that the king and queen are coming to Downton. So of course that, you know, the, the house just turns into complete chaos, mm. um, ready to organise this big, big event. And uh, they bring their staff with them. So you can imagine it's like a butler off between, yes, of course. <laughs> between Jim Carter and, yes. uh, and who plays Carson and uh, David Haig, who plays um, the royal butler. But his, his, his proper name is the page of the back stairs. Um, and they obviously kind of, you know, fight that it out. That was my name in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. Very funny. Name. When did you find out that you were making the movie and how long did you have to keep it a secret? Well, we sort of knew towards the end of the show there was rumours. Really? And, yeah, yeah. So at the time we were going, no, we don't know anything. And of course we did. Um, and Julian was busy typing away. So, and then it gradually kind of, you know, the press were becoming intrigued. And then, you know, one day I was at home with my mum and dad and my dad's my dad was like, so you're doing the Downton film then? <laughs> I was like, not that I know of, I haven't even got a contract yet. Yeah. Um, so it just felt like we were just being asked all the time. Yeah. We just, we eventually had to do it. But the funny thing is now everybody's asking us if we're going to do a sequel. Of course.